Three, two, one. Yo, what it is, YouTube? It's your boy, Nissy. Coming back with better camera quality. Ah, uh, we coming back with another bullseye with tutorial here today, YouTube gang. Okay, we got a new camera. I just want to say thank you for everybody who's been patient with me these last few days. You know, I've been upgrading my setup, improving things around here. We ready to take over 2024, giving y'all the best possible gems in game to help step y'all game up. So I had to step my camera game up too, because it's only right. Let's not waste no time. Let's get on the grind. Today, we going to be talking about the Abbey Road RS124 from Waze. Let's not waste no time. Let's get it now. Two. Two. Bet don't be worried about me, I'm good I'm getting that bread as I should I'ma just follow my dreams, yeah Every week I'm in the stool I know they ain't believing me But I'ma show them with the truth Put a 3-5 in the wood Might take a perk or two Bet don't be worried about me, I'm good I'm getting that bread as I should I'ma just follow my dreams, yeah Every week I'm in the stool I know they ain't Okay, so today I wanted to talk about a plugin for me that is very special. It's the Abbey Road RS124. Okay, so this is a Veramu type of compressor, right? So that means it actually uses the tubes to do the compression. Similarly to another compressor, which is like a Fairchild, right? That's the Godfather, the OG, the Unk, round the corner type of compressor, the uncle that everybody knows, the grandfather of Veramu compressors, kind of compressors in general, right? It's a tube compressor, which means it actually is varying like the, the bias current going to the tube to do the compression. Uh, you know, other compressors like a CL1, B, a LA-2A, you know, those compressors are usually called tube compressors, but when in reality, they really aren't tube compressors. They're more of optical compressors. They use light. So I love to use, uh, you know, something like an Abbey Road 124 to bring in a lot of creaminess, a lot of richness. And it's a great compressor because it lets a lot of the, the you know, the impact of the vocals come through, the consonants, a, a little bit of the, the S's and the, the sharp kind of like, you know, edge kind of pointy knife the stick with the with the vines on it kind of like you know part of the vocal really start to come out it gives it a nice little bit of grit okay so let's look at this compressor and how i like to use it so usually you know it's very uh, very foolproof very straightforward so you have your attack time um which it does not let you control. A lot of uh, Veramu compressors don't let you control the attack time. They don't let you decide how quickly is the signal, you know, the compressor grabbing onto it. So it's very open. It lets a lot of the dynamics come through. So let's kind of just play around with it and hear what sounds that we can get from it. Two, two. Bet don't be worried about me, I'm good. I'm getting that bread as I should. I'ma just follow my dreams, yeah. Every week I'm in the stool. I know they ain't believing me, but I'ma show them with the truth. Put a 3-5 in the wood, might take a prick or two. Bet don't be worried about me, I'm good. I'm getting that bread as I should. I'ma just follow my dreams, yeah. Every week I'm in the stool. I know they ain't believing me, but I'ma show them with the truth. Geeking all night out the boot. My girl telling me it ain't cute. But she know I'm gonna do what I do. Said I changed, but a lot of it ain't true. I got a monkey on my back. I got a baddie on my lap. I got a perky in my pocket. The reason why I love using the Abbey Road RS124 and a lot of tube compressors is because they add a little bit of saturation to the mid-range. Oftentimes, you know, adding a little bit of saturation to the mid-range is what can help give the vocals not only body, but also a little bit more presence that lets them help cut through the track. So the controls kind of go like this. The recovery is like the, the release time pretty much. How quickly do you want the compressor to let go of the vocal? Usually, I pay attention to how fast the rapper is rapping. You want to listen to a rapper's flow, and that's going to kind of help you determine, okay, like how quick do I want my releases? But because I understand it's a tube compressor, and those boys are really slow. You know, they kind of ESC, they kind of little Dumbo retarded jit in the back of the classroom type of compressor with the release time where it's kind of like, oh. It's kind of a slow to let go of the vocal. I usually always use the fastest release time. So the recovery is the release time. The input control and the output control, very interesting because it doesn't allow you to control the attack time. It doesn't give you all those other parameters. A compressor like this has a fixed threshold, right? So pretty much they have their threshold. You're walking into their party. They got the chips. They got the cookies. You know, you're pretty much playing that basketball game on their home court. 
the compressor has a fixed threshold. So that means they came with their starting place. They came with their starting point, right? And then, of course, you have the two unit types. One is the, the studio, which is, the, uh, you know, the original tube sound. And then also you have the cutter emulation, which kind of comes from, uh, you know, the uh, it's a different style of tube. But it has something to do with the way they used to cut vinyl and all that stuff like that. And another thing you have right here is the Superfuse, which when you use the Superfuse, I mostly use it. Uh, the Superfuse kind of gives a really, really nice, uh, you know, smoothing type of compression it's kind of very very slow and that's what i always pay attention to with a rapper's flow i don't want it to feel like you know the uh compressor is being like a lazy friend that's kind of weighing down on the vocal it's two, a two. Bet don't be worried about me i'm good i'm good that bread as i should i'm gonna just follow my dreams yeah. every week i'm in the stool i know they ain't believing me but i'm gonna show them with the truth Put a three five in the wood. Might take a perky or two. Bet don't be worried about me. I'm good. I'm getting that bread as I should. I'ma just follow my dreams. Yeah. Every week I'm in the stool. I know they ain't believing me, but I'ma show them with the truth. Chico, geeking all night out the. So you really hear it sounds like the the uh, Abbey Road compressor is really like kind of taking the vocal off of a diet. It doesn't sound so skinny anymore. Now it sounds a little, a little really fat with a lot of meat, a lot of weight on it. And another great thing about a plugin like this is the internal sidechain. An internal sidechain is important for me personally when it comes to a tube compressor because that means that it's not going to be staring at the low end. And oftentimes the low end, right, the, the 100 hertz, the 50 hertz, a lot of those frequencies are very slow. So you kind of don't want a compressor to be re like this, reacting to slow frequencies when it's already a slow compressor. So I like the internal sidechain a lot because it makes it look more at the mid-range and the higher frequencies, which will kind of, you know, make the compressor work a little bit cleaner a little bit faster so that's a great way i like to use that on the lead vocal i also love to use it as like a you know a parallel vocal as well a great a great a really good uh preset on a plugin like this i like to use it's called vocal presence right it's right under here and usually if you want to get your vocal to sound nice and tight you know this is a great preset to use Two, a two, bet don't be worried about me. I'm good, I'm good. That bread is I should. I'ma just follow my dreams. Yeah. Every week I'm in the stool. I know they ain't believing me, but I'ma show them with the truth. Put a three five in the wood. Might take a perky or two. Bet don't be worried about me. I'm good, I'm getting that bread. I know people like Greg Wells love to use a compressor like this on bass or usually like instruments that kind of have like a slow type of long sustain. I'm good. I'm going to follow my dream. Every week I'm in the, listening to the rapper's lyrics like it was an instrument as it like was another part of the beat is a great way of picking what type of compressors to use. You feel me? I hear a slow type of vocal from him. So I picked a slow compressor like this and vocal presence is a great preset. I love to use blend that back in and it helps the, the vocal, you know, kind of cut through the two track beat. You know, a lot of times people like the Beatles, they will use this compressor on a lot of stuff, guitars, bass, all that stuff like that, vocals. And it was very rich and, you know, very unique to the studio. They had their own custom, uh, custom modified Altec compressors and stuff like that too. So that's pretty much the end of the video that I got here for you today, guys. Just want to say thank you so much for being a great part of my YouTube family. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. More videos coming back. We back on it, gang. Appreciate y'all now, YouTube gang. Peace.